Did Tesla just flip the EV game in China and quietly expand robo taxi testing in Arizona? There's a bigger plan unfolding and it could redefine the future of mobility and profits. Hey everyone, it's Ken from Life in the Future. If you're a Tesla owner, investor, or just someone who's excited about the future of transportation, this is the video you don't want to miss. Let's dive into what Tesla's up to in China, how RoboTaxi is expanding in the US, and why this could be one of the boldest strategic moves we've seen in a while. Tesla is making its next big move, and it's all about pricing power in the world's most competitive EV market, China. Recent reports reveal that Tesla is developing new simplified versions of the Model 3 and Model Y, tailored for the Chinese market. Internally, they're known as the D50 and E41. These models are already in the validation stage, and all signs point to them being leaner, cost-optimized, lightweight versions, slated for a 2026 launch. Now here's the thing. These aren't just cheaper Teslas. I believe they represent a redefined entry-level strategy for Tesla. Historically, Tesla built its brand on premium performance and cutting-edge technology. But China's EV landscape has changed dramatically. Brands like BYD and Xpeng are rolling out low-cost, high-quality EVs at scale. To compete head-on, Tesla doesn't just need cheaper hardware, it needs smarter software and a stronger platform play. Think about it this way, Tesla is setting the price low to win the hardware game, but plans to win big through software. FSD subscriptions, in-car services, and energy integrations. It's a lot like Apple's iPhone model, sell the device, but make the real money through the ecosystem. Meanwhile, in the US, Tesla is also pushing forward on the robotaxi front. In addition to existing tests in Austin and the Bay Area, Tesla vehicles equipped with LiDAR have now been spotted in new cities like Gilbert and Tempe, Arizona. That's significant. Let's be clear, this doesn't mean Tesla is switching to LIDAR for autonomy. Elon Musk has repeatedly said LiDAR is just a crutch, a research tool. Tesla has used LiDAR in early test phases before, mainly to cross-check FSD accuracy and validate mapping, but what really matters here is the location of these tests. New regions are being added to the robotaxi map. Elon once said he wants half of the US population to be covered by robotaxi service zones. He wasn't talking about physical maps, he was talking about markets. In other words, Tesla is strategically testing in areas where future FSD-enabled rideshare services could become a major revenue stream. This is about building the foundation for a completely new business model. Now let's connect some dots. Internally, Tesla had two major projects, NV91, rumored to be the $25,000 EV, and NV93 aka Cyber Cab, a fully autonomous vehicle with no steering wheel or pedals. Both projects were reportedly paused, but now there are hints that they're back in motion. The D50 and E41 could be Tesla's way of using existing platforms to test NV91-like affordability while still laying the groundwork for NV93-level autonomy. If you're a Tesla investor, here's the exciting part. Yes. Selling low-cost EVs may hurt margins at first, but if those cars can operate as robotaxis or run FSD software, each vehicle transforms into a revenue-generating asset. Over time, that car doesn't just pay for itself, it earns back multiple times its cost. That's a complete shift from the traditional sell the car and move on model. Tesla's AI stack and energy platform make this vision not just possible, but potentially unstoppable. If the simplified models prove successful in China, Tesla could adapt the same design philosophy for Europe, Southeast Asia, and emerging markets. And at the same time, 
the robo taxi network expands across the US, Tesla isn't just selling cars, it's redefining revenue and rebuilding transportation itself. Don't get this wrong. Tesla isn't trying to be the cheapest EV company. It's trying to be the smartest. It's about generating recurring, software-driven, and location-optimized income streams. And it's leveraging every advantage from FSD to battery storage to make that happen. We're entering a world where your car could drive itself, earn income, and upgrade over time, all through software. And Tesla is positioning itself right at the center of that future. Before we wrap up, quick stock check. Tesla is currently trading at $432, down a little today. But with this strategic pivot, the long-term upside may be bigger than most people realize. All right, that's it for today's update. If you found this breakdown helpful, please hit the like button. It really helps this channel reach more Tesla fans around the world. And if you want to stay in the loop on everything Tesla, from robo-taxi rollouts to stock analysis, make sure to subscribe. I'm here every day, bringing you in-depth insights you won't find anywhere else. Thanks again for watching, and as always, enjoy life with Tesla. Before we wrap up, let me take a moment to introduce myself. I drive a Tesla Model Y, and at home, I've installed a Tesla Powerwall, so I actually charge my car with solar energy. I truly believe Tesla is shaping the future, and that's why I share the latest news and insights here on this channel. I'm from Japan, but I want to connect with Tesla fans all around the world. That's why I also create an English version of my videos. YouTube now lets you switch the audio into your own language, so you can enjoy it in whatever language you prefer. Most of all, I'd love to connect with Tesla fans everywhere so we can support Tesla together. I also share updates on X, so feel free to follow me there and let's connect. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.